How you going uh, everybody? Uh, just uh, a few tips and tricks on uh, what I've been doing with breeding my goldfish at the moment. So I hope you like it. Um, that's the black aranda. There's three large black arandas in there and I've got uh, some babies in there. Look, with the sunlight, uh, well, it's a bit cloudy here today, but uh, gleaming off the water is a little bit hopeless trying to show you the fry. But yeah, some of them are probably... Uh, half an inch long now so they're going uh, really well whatever your people do make sure that uh, you have your water aerated outside it'll keep all that out of your way but mind you a little bit's good for the fry and the fish to eat too so everybody uh, prefers to do it a different way I'll just uh, head down to the uh, shed I'll just uh, shut off the main filtration because it makes a little bit of noise so uh, there we go um, yeah I've been using some uh, spawner mops I went away from the hand spawning the hand spawning is okay but I find once you hand spawn in say a tub like this you, you can't move the fry for quite a few weeks, otherwise it'll shock them. The change, it's a matter of filly, you know, these are moving all right. Um, so I find with a, a spawning mop like these, after you get a spawn, you can actually pick it up and move it wherever you want, as long as the water's prepared. And I think new fresh water with a little bit of older water where the spawn mop has come from, is ideal um, and don't uh, think that uh, sometimes they're not spawning I mean even though these uh, three in here don't really want to do the trick for me they've been in there for about a week now the weather is warm enough don't worry about that and uh, these three have been in there for just over a week too and that they're not real interested should be two males and a female there, two males and a female there. Now, this one actually had the spawning mop and that large blue aranda in there, calico female and a orange male. Now, they were in there and I took the spawning mop out and I didn't think anything happened. And uh, we had a little baby black aranda that got caught in the filter from the pond inside I've put in there and then I don't know if you can see it but lo and behold there's a little fry everywhere in there so sometimes don't be concerned you think things aren't happening but they are hope you can see them how they'll survive and everything we'll we'll have to find out about those can't wait for these breeding season next year there's three beautiful Black Rancho in there, and their other mate is uh, down the bottom in there with those other Rancho. But uh, now we'll go for a little bit of a walk over the other side. My uh, grandson gets mad with me with this, he thinks I should cut the walking part out, but <laughs> uh, I'm not as clever at it as he is. So that there had two spawning mops put in it um, one butterfly telescope and I'll see if we can see any I don't know well, yeah there's a few zipping around in there so that's got uh, a rander spawning mop put in there and a butterfly telescope this is just hornsworth growing in there that I got from somebody the other day which is going to be great for breeding um, now the spawn and mop actually for the uh, arandas actually come out of here so I picked it up and put it in there but they must have laid eggs everywhere because there's babies zipping around in there everywhere and this is where the butterfly telescope come from so if you take your spawn and mop out be prepared to know that more than likely there is eggs everywhere still wherever you've taken the spawn and mop from so still be prepared to know that you've got to look after that area they come from now this here was prepared 
three days ago for um, Ranchu to go in. But uh, the way things are going, I may have to have that for Fry. Because kind of things aren't working out exactly the way I want it. Because the water goes into here, obviously, up into here down through there, down into that one, down in that one, it's supposed to go in that one and then come back again. But because there's fry in these two, they'll go through and in and lob in there and keep going around and around until they probably die. So that's probably thrown things out. There's some huge big black moors down there. I've put them out here for spawning purposes. Some of our water lettuces have sprouted and going along quite nicely. They're going to have babies so that more than America because they're not cheap they're about five bucks each where I live here so classy I've just ran some airlines down here and that's my filter bucket I might have to give that a bit of a clean because it's slowed down so I think I might have to actually give that a bit of a clean out today all right um just lastly before I go once again, walking again. My grandson's got time. He, he'll probably want to edit this for me when I see him. Now this messy shed. Now this here. I have got a battery that was no good that I uh, desulfate and bring back to life. Now that runs through a charge controller. That 12 volt and that 12 volt air pump. So that just goes off a 40 watt panel on the roof runs them non-stop these two batteries here they run the actual water pump to the filter and another air pump and that runs off a 160 panel and these batteries here i don't ever touch it it's free obviously it cost me to set it up but in the long run saving the power is paramount where i live anyway so Know about use, but look, thanks for uh, listening, and uh, I'll see you later.